All right, so listen, when we talk about the samurai, we're talking about a very high level warrior culture. Now, what I'm going to do here is this. There's five principles that I believe that you could integrate immediately into your life right now. What we're going to do here on this video series, we're going to divide it into five different segments. All right. So I'm going to break each segment down with one specific principle. Not only am I going to tell you about the principle, but I'm also going to show you how you could implement it into your life. All right. So the samurai, one of the most elite warrior cultures that history has ever seen. Right, when you go back and look at the movies from the Samurais, you're seeing these warriors cut with one stroke. Efficient movement, dynamic, but yet one time they can be in the garden, the other time they could be doing tea ceremony, very peaceful, and then the other time in the battlefield. They trained with their body, mind, and spirit. One thing that the Samurai had that was very different than many other warrior cultures was the ability to be present. Mushin, the state of mind of being clear, being here right now, without having any other thoughts going through your mind. Now, this may seem like a fairy tale to many because you're constantly living in this life where you're getting hit left and right. And in our society has so many things that it's throwing at you constantly, right? You're getting digital media, you're getting people speaking to you, you're getting emails, you're getting texts, phone calls. You have your entire mind just cluttered, right? But when you go back in history and you look at the samurai, they compartmentalized. When they were sitting in meditation, no one bothered them. There was, there was just them. They blocked out all outside music, all outside challenges. Then they did their tea ceremony, the same thing. They were present, they were purposeful in their actions. Then they did their training, right? Their sword training, Yaido, Kenjutsu, you know, and they hand to hand combat. And you look at it and you're like, well, I can't do this. You know, I can't block people out. I no, but I'll tell you what, we can take this principle in our life, we can practice it enough where we can make it a habit. At least get somewhere there. I could tell you that I've been practicing the martial arts for over 30 years and effectively I've been able to use this principle of Mushin many, many times over as a police officer, many times. So what I can say here is this. First and foremost, Mushin is about the clarity of mind. It's about being here right now present. If you're a father, be present with your child. If you're a husband, be present with your wife. If you're a business owner or a CEO, be present with your employees. When you make decisions, be present. But basically, you should be present in everything that you do in your life. Having this monkey mind where you're jumping around from thing to thing to thing and only giving it a five or a 10% thought process, no good. So when you're involved in the state of mind that you are being cluttered, because that's what we live in, we live in this cluttered state of mind, you need to start saying to yourself, this is not where I need to be. I need to enter the state of Mushin, the state of no mindedness, the state of being present here and hyper focused on my environment around me and truly what is happening. So how do we, how do, I mean, how do we do this? How do we achieve this? That's the question, right? Yeah, that's all samurai and, and, and you know, people that lived hundreds of years ago. And, and, but how do we apply that now into our lives? We're, well, <clears throat> I am here to tell you that you can absolutely apply it. It's about letting it become a habit. And it's about having that purpose and intent and that want to make that change that state of mind change. You see, when you get cluttered and when you are in a situation where you are spending time with someone, for example, your child, it is un not, uh, not uncommon at all where <clears throat> you have individuals that live their lives on their phones or on the internet somehow, or computers, or they're reading something else while their child is doing, is talking to them. Be present. Every facet of your life 
you should be 100% present. That means not disturbed by outside sources. So when you are sitting there with your child and you catch yourself on your cell phone or you catch yourself in a position where you are using an iPad or you are you know, thinking about other things and you, and you completely drift off in, play, uh, in another planet, maybe you should consider coming back to center. You should come back to where you are at that moment and really listen and play and interact with your child. This is just an example. If you're a business owner and you are you know, running a business, yet no one ever sees you, there's no dissemination of mission, there's nothing, you don't disseminate anything to anyone. There is no communication whatsoever. Why? Because you're constantly thinking about other things and just letting things happen in front of you. How about this? Try this for a change. Call a meeting. Be present. Get to know everyone. Have that clarity of mind where all of a sudden names that people are telling you, you're absorbing, you're shaking hands. People are seeing you. Communicate from your heart. Speak from the soul. Being present right here and right now is key because your life is one. And you have the opportunity to be present for your life and enjoy it, live it, breathe it. But most people don't. So take this first principle from the samurai and achieve that state of mind every day in your life. Mushin. First and foremost, I want to say thank you for all of your support. Listen, if you're connecting here and you want to truly learn more about living this warrior life and living this man of war philosophy, I'm going to ask you to do me a favor. All right, subscribe and turn on that notification bell. Every week we're going to have two, three videos posted here in this channel. It's going to bring you value. It's going to bring you a unique approach to truly living this warrior lifestyle. Thank you very much and God bless.